Hey everybody, it's Tyler with Tyler Talks Travel Trailers. I'm back with another tour today. We are gonna be doing a Raptor toy hauler. And I know you think Raptor toy hauler, that's some big money. I thought you're only doing budget trailers for a while, but I have a Raptor toy hauler tow behind that is a real good budget friendly toy hauler. You know, if you have a side-by-side -side or a Harley or anything like that, and you're just gonna go out for the weekend, this is gonna be a perfect travel trailer uh, toy hauler. So like always, we're gonna do the specs first. It takes me one minute to do those specs, and then we'll dive inside. Let's go, guys. All right, the basic specs on this 2024 Raptor 30 WFO. The unloaded weight is 7,575 pounds. The cargo carrying capacity is 3,725 pounds, which brings your fully loaded weight to 11,300 pounds. Your hitch weight is 1,140 pounds. Your length is 33 feet, five inches total. Your height, including the AC, is 12 feet, five inches. The garage size is 15 feet. The fresh water tank is 54 gallons. The gray water tank is 30 gallons and your black water tank is 30 gallons. Let's jump inside. All right, guys, let's dive into this thing. Really cool tow behind and you're not gonna have to spend 80 grand for it. So pretty standard toy hauler. This is the more open floor plan where the garage is, but tons of space in this thing. They would consider this a wide body, so you can fit bigger side-by-sides in this thing. You got tons of, tons of D-rings right here to strap down your toy. What's cool about this toy hauler is it actually has a slide out. So right here, you got a slide and uh, we'll put it in, that way we can measure how much room you actually have. But this does have a nice slide if the lights start flickering, it's because my golf cart, for some reason, the battery isn't working too good. So that's kind of why I did a toy hauler too, because I have this big door that I could put down and let in some natural light. But like I was saying, this is the slide you can tell because of the framing around it. So it's not super massive. As you can see, it's from here to there. And uh, it, it'll come in and you still have tons of room for your toy. So obviously this is kind of your kitchen area. They do give you a nice 12 volt fridge. So I love 12 volt fridges. They cool so much faster and you also get a much deeper fridge than your standard gas electric. So 12 volts are great. This does have solar on the roof already. So it has a 200 watt solar panel on the roof and then it does have an inverter. So you don't really need to worry about that uh, draining your batteries too fast because that solar will constantly keep your batteries recharged. And remember the solar does not run everything. It, it's just trickle charging your batteries. It's not gonna run like your AC and things like that. that uh, that kind of solar package gets pretty pricey, but it will keep the batteries charged to run the nice fridge. You got uh, your microwave, pretty standard, light fan combo. You do got a three top burner, stove top with the backsplash. You got your big oven, and then you got tons of storage right here for your utensils and things like that. These are all the same. Raptor makes a fantastic product. If you're unfamiliar with them, definitely check them out. They make Raptor toy haulers into the hundreds. You know, they, they get pretty pricey, but they definitely show good and they make a fantastic product. You got a little storage down there. Pretty decent prep space right here for the countertop. And then you do also get this prep space to the right. So I'd say it has really good counter space over here. So when you're making lunch or dinner, you got plenty of room. And then obviously that stove top will collapse, will fold over and you could use that as prep space. They give you a really big farm style sink. So it's easier to clean up. Sometimes they make these sinks so small you can't even put a plate in it. So when you're done feeding everybody and it's time to clean up, you actually got enough room to do the dishes. You got the nice accented lighting up there. And then this is where you would mount your TV. So this, this particular floor plan doesn't come with the TV, but the backer board's already there so you can mount it. And then if you do notice, it's really cool. 
that outlet is connected to the inverter so you can actually run run stuff off of that plug and even that plug off of without being plugged into a generator or shore power so that's really cool that they tie in these plugs to the inverter to allow you to do that you got a little cabinet space up here I like those corner cabinets because it doesn't waste space really think about it sometimes they have the cabinets that go this way and you can't reach that cabinet because it's all the way at the corner where the uh, counter space is so that corner cabinetry is really nice you got a little more storage right here you got your Jensen radio uh, indoor and outdoor speakers and then you got your storage down here below the sink easy access to your plumbing we'll turn around to the uh, garage area so like I said a 15 foot garage so that is massive for a tow behind. If you've been looking around, you know that's a pretty big garage for a toy hauler, or I mean a tow behind. So plenty of space. We will put this slide in at the end, so that way I can measure it for you guys. Then you know kind of the width with the slide in. I was looking at the specs online, and for some reason they did not show that. But really cool. You get a lot of stuff in this thing for the price. I'll give you the price at the end too. The price point is amazing on this thing. You know, if you've never owned a toy hauler before, you have probably been looking around and you know the prices for toy haulers are pretty, pretty pricey. And uh, I, that's why I, I pick this one as probably the best budget friendly uh, toy hauler that you can get. This will definitely get you out there for your first toy hauler. You'll be able to experience it without spending 80 grand and you'll see if you like it or don't like it and you won't have to sell your toy or tow it but with another vehicle. This is really nice option for you. You got the bunk up top right here. And it looks like it uh it's manual, manual manual, I can't say that. <laughs> so, it doesn't have like the push button, the electric lifts that bring it up and down. You know, I don't really mind that. That's kind of nice. It's one less thing you really have to worry about. It's just manual. You just pull it down and then it'll fall on these bumpers. I'll show you how that works real quick. So it's super easy. All you do, you got to do it in this order though. So you pull this strap right here. All right. And then you pull this second strap right here. And this is what brings your bunk down. And you have those gas shocks right there to kind of help you bring it down. But look how easy that was. I honestly would not complain that it, you have to do it like without pushing a button. You know, instead of you having that, uh, that chain that pulls it up and it's electric, this, you just do it real simply. They give you the ladder right here, the telescoping ladder, so you can store it nice and easily. It just hooks on right here. Looks like your bunk uh, weight maximum load capacity is 300 pounds but that is a big bunk and then you also have this down here which is really fun you know you could hang out out here you got this to eat and then also utilize it as another sleeping space so these just roll right in you roll that one in and then you roll this one in so you could sleep four people out here, no problem. And it's very simple. I think that's why I like this floor plan so much. Sometimes toy haulers, they get pretty, pretty fancy, you know, and this is just a real nice, simple floor plan, easy to use. You got uh, the move standalone table. So we'll pull that out of the way so we can get by. So you can move this around nice and easily. But check this out. They even give you a nice little screen right here. You probably can't see it, but you got a nice screen to pull down so you can keep the bugs away from you. And then you just pull this down and it'll go up on its own. Really nice. And you do have plenty of head space. I have to duck a little bit, but you could keep this down. No problem. You know, if the adults want to stay up a little later or someone wants to go to bed early, this is plenty high 
to get through it and someone could still be down here hanging out. You got the nice patio with the cables. Really cool. And then you got the nice fenced in patio as well. So if you bring the pups along, they could come out here and hang out with you. You don't have to have them run off. Unless it's really small, they might be able to get out there. What do you guys think though? To toy haulers are really fun because you know even if you don't have like a big side-by-side -side or a toy just imagine how fun it is when you get go out camping with your family and you have the bicycles you got the kayaks the fishing poles all of your outside gear you just load it in right real easily and then when you get home you could unload it real easily so don't think you have to have a toy to consider getting a toy hauler I've had a lot of people, they come in here and they come in wanting a tow behind, but then I show them how versatile uh, a toy hauler can be with, depending on what they do, you know, if you like to go bike riding or kayaking or all those outdoor activities where you have big things you need to bring along with you, you could pile it all in here nice and easily. And then when you get home, the cleanup is super easy. You know, you could just sweep this, any dirt or anything out real easily, clean off your deck with your hose. So definitely consider a toy hauler if you are someone that does a lot of outdoor activities. It's just really fun. And then when you get there, you could put the deck down, the patio, and everyone could kind of just hang out. So that is your back garage area. We will come to the bathroom now. Really nice open floor plan though. Here is your control panel before we get to the bathroom. So you have all your readings for your gray tank, your water pump, your water heater, all of that. You just flip a switch and it does its thing. And then it looks like this is where you control your AC and you got one in here and you have one in the bedroom. So you're getting two ACs on this unit for this price point is crazy. You even get a tankless water heater. So you don't, you could take as long of a shower as you want, as long as you have it in your tank, or if you have full hookups, you really can take a, a shower as long as you want. You won't run out of hot water. The slide is obviously electric. Just push the button, it'll go in. Really good sized bathroom. I have no complaints with this one. So we'll sit on the toilet. If you're new to the channel, it sounds goofy when I say that, but go sit on the toilet when you're looking around at trailers because it's going to suck if you can't fit on the toilet when you go out and use it. You want to have at least enough room to get, get around, do your business. So plenty of room right there. As I like to call it, wiping room. The, shoulder, the shoulders aren't bad. You just have this wall, but it is not bad at all. They give you a good size sink. You could actually wash your hands and brush your teeth. A little storage down there, easy access to your plumbing. And then you got your mirror and medicine cabinet. Pretty standard stuff. But check this out. They give you another inverted, inverted outlet. So I've had people add this and it is not cheap. So all of your outlets, it seems like almost all your outlets are connected to the inverter. The shower really good size shower. I'm talking tons of headspace. I don't care unless you're a freak giant, you're going to be fine in this thing. Most people will have more than enough headspace with this thing and they also give you the skylight. So, man, you can almost fit two people in this thing. Plenty of room. Don't judge me for saying that. Some people like to conserve water when they're dry camping. So, I mean, hey, if you're that comfortable with each other, might as well save some water and shower together but plenty of space. That is a really good size shower. And the shower head is actually at a good height for literally most people. Sometimes they put them so low and it's kind of goofy. We will come to the back to the main bedroom. Oh man, I almost gave myself a heart attack. I didn't think I was recording this whole time. I was like, no, but check this room out. Nice walk around bed. This is an RV queen. So I believe it's six inches shorter right here. So if you're out looking around, sometimes they will be a full, like a standard queen or, a, or an RV queen. This is an RV queen. It's only six inches shorter. So I feel like you could put a queen if you really wanted to. It'd just be a little tighter right here. 
but really nice that you can walk around the bed no problems much better this way because you can actually make the bed easier as well as get in and out of bed and not disturbing your partner they also smart with putting in these pocket doors so when you're looking around at trailers definitely keep an eye out for pocket doors they just allow you to have a lot more space and not take up space so this is a pretty roomy area but imagine how bad it would be if you had the normal standard open door so the pocket doors thumbs up on that glad they did that you come over here you got cabinets hang your clothes right there you got one on both sides and then one up top as well so a nice little shelf up here that is nice so they did put an inverted outlet out here it looks like the one on that side is not unless yeah that one is not but at least you get one in the bedroom, which is really cool. You got your AC in here. That just dumps straight into here, so that thing will be cold. They just dump all of it into this one room. Check out that closet. Huge closet. This is more than enough space to bring all your clothes along. You could even put some shelving in here, you know? Plenty of space. You got two windows on each side, one over here and one over there. That's your emergency exit. And then you can mount a TV right up there. There's backer board too. But overall, nice setup. Looks like you can get to the outside storage from here. That's really cool. Nice. That's awesome. I'd put a trash can right there. <laughs> and then you got, uh, you just got one on that side. You got, a, you got plenty of room if you need a CPAP machine. You got space for that, which is nice. I have a lot of customers that use CPAP machines, and I would imagine that is enough room to put one on either side. So we will go outside now. What do you guys think? Wait till you hear the price. It is not bad at all. Uh, looks like the AC in here is ducted. So it's ducted right here, and then your heater is ducted in the walls. And I did see a few vents on the floor. Let's double check. Yeah, so some of it is ducted in the flooring as well. That is a plastic toilet, but you can, you can easily convert that into a porcelain. Not a problem. Most people do that. Let's check this out. Ooh, it's not too bad today. We got some cloud cover, which is nice. I can't believe I'm almost done with the, all of these trailers. That's crazy. I started about a month and a half ago and I did not expect to get this far. You got your electric tongue jack. So nice and easy to hook up. You got the dual propane tanks, the bigger 30 pounds. You got your battery box area with your battery disconnect. So when you store this thing real easy, you just turn off your batteries. And your storage is right here pass-through storage. Whoa, I just dropped the door on my head. There we go. So really nice pass-through storage. Plenty of room. They even give you more lights right here. So that's nice. That cord over there is just if you're plugging into shore power or a generator. And then you got electric stabilizers. Awesome. Yeah, so these will just keep the trailer from moving around when you're walking in it. These will not level it, but they will stop on their own, which is nice. So you don't need to worry about when to stop or if you're going down too far, it'll, it'll hit 50 pounds of pressure and then it'll do the next leg. So pretty simple to use. You got the nice solid steps. Those just fold right into the doorway. They fall right down to the ground, which I love. Let's make sure this microphone's still on. Yes, it is. Dual axle, obviously. You got some plugs out here. Ooh, that's cool. They gave you an inverted outlet out here. That makes it really nice because you could just plug your TV in out here. No problem. Don't need to be in a gen have a generator or anything like that. You got your coax cable thing right there. And I said 200 watt, it's a 220 watt solar. Really cool. You got a huge awning right here. 
huge awning with the LED lights that go all the way across it. Those things are bright. It'll definitely, at nighttime, you will definitely be able to see everything with those things on. You got your outdoor speakers, and then that's just kind of a vent. So when you store your toy in there, it won't stink up the place. You can open those things. You get one on the other side too. But everything else is pretty standard. Such a cool toy hauler to get you out and camping, you know, without having to spend 80 grand. These things are not cheap. 80 grand is even like not crazy with toy haulers. You'll see if you go look around for cable, you got a walkable roof. You just need the ladder. It hooks on right there. So you can walk on this roof, no problem. There's your slide out. Like I said, it's not super big, which is nice. So it doesn't add a whole lot of weight. There's your tankless water heater. You got your black tank flush. So when you're cleaning out the tanks, that's where you'll hook your water hose to and it'll flush the tanks out for you. You got your outside shower. And then you got your potable water for dry camping and then your city water when you got hookups. Just the other door for your pass through. There is your inverter right there. Really nice. That pass through storage is really great. Do you guys like these budget friendly trailers? I've been trying to do more of them. I feel like people need to see that more than anything instead of these crazy ones that are like 120 130 grand i'll do some of those though i got so much stuff coming all right guys i hope you enjoyed the tour on this raptor toy hauler 2024 raptor 30 wfo so the price on this something like this you're looking at 46,872 for your MSRP roughly. And then your sale price here at Albuquerque RV at least, you're looking at 33,995. Definitely ask for me. I will, you know, make it a better deal. I'll see what I could do for you guys. I like to take care of all of my customers. So definitely stop in, ask for me. Even if you call, you could just call the store and ask for Tyler. I'm always here, seriously. I don't have a life. So yeah, I hope you like that tour. This is a great floor plan just to get you out. You know, if you have a toy, you know how expensive these toy haulers can be. If you're new to the channel, I do a new tour every single day. So like always, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks, guys.